my friends, much like most vegetables, the healthiest way to consume them is raw. Today's recipe is a zucchini zoodle noodle salad. We also sat with the sunscreen genie to learn how to pick the right sunscreen. And the Fashion Sense gals hit the runway in travel style. On the next episode. Presented by the Sui Hero Electric Gang. Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. Aloha, I'm Valerie Joseph with Fashion Sense. Restyling runway looks to the walkways of Hawaii and providing smart solutions to all your fashion needs. Hi friends, welcome to Fashion Sense! Being healthier is easier than you think and there are tons of recipes that require minimal effort. Today's recipe requires just that, very little effort. Let's head to the kitchen. Hi there, this recipe is filled with nutrients and color. We all know I love to wear color and I love to eat colorful food. I feel that colorful food tastes so much more yummier. This dish is called a zucchini zoodle noodle salad. First, we're going to mix our dressing. Whisk together some white wine vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, <laughs> salt, pepper, and fresh oregano. Then we're gonna set this aside and make our zoodles. I just love to sing when I say that word. I am going to use my handy dandy noodle maker. It's a little spiraler. A plate here to catch all the zoodles. Here we go. Oops, I'm not putting enough muscle into this. There we go. Here's a tip. If we put the spiraler on the counter, the legs will suction it to the counter so it won't move. So let's do that. And don't feel bad about throwing the core and the seeds out. The seeds don't have a yummy taste as the outside of the zucchini, and they don't have as much nutritional value. So, toss that. And just use the good stuff. They're all suctioned in. And let's toss the zoodles into our dressing. I'm also gonna add some pimentos. And that's it. Woohoo! Okay, I'm going in. Not only was this quick and easy and fun to make, but it's so fresh, and it's beautiful, and it's colorful, and it's nutritious. Send us your favorite no-cook recipe to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. We wanted something total building automation. We chose Light Cloud because of that reason. Our future is to be totally off grid. I'm Daryl Suhiro, president of D Suhiro Electric Inc. We are using Light Cloud to control all of our lighting and we were able to integrate it with our mechanical system, which controls our AC system and our exhaust fans in our restrooms and the warehouse ventilation. Our favorite feature is being able to totally control every light fixture in this warehouse. Summarizing Light Cloud, total building lighting automation. Hawaiian coffee body scrubs, moisturizing, rejuvenating, energizing, beautiful. Handmade in Hawaii, 
with Aloha. Coco Java. Hi friends, welcome back to Beauty Talk with Lash Master and Educator Deidre Harvey, owner of Zoe Lash Pro, who is here to answer some viewer questions. Hi Deidre. Hi Val. Our first viewer question is, can eyelash extensions look fake? I do believe that beauty is in the eye of the beholder and everybody has a different opinion of what beauty is. Lash extensions should enhance your eyes and not take away from it. So you want to make sure that you choose a design that doesn't look too heavy or too droopy on your eyes. Can the lash extensions damage your natural lashes? They can. So you want to make sure you find a lash artist that is experienced, licensed, that has the proper training to make sure that your extensions are pl applied properly. If you don't, then you really take the risk of damaging your natural lashes, mm -hmm. pulling them out prematurely. What are some things that we can do once we get the eyelash extensions to keep our natural lashes healthy? Keep your lashes clean, right? Because one, it helps with the lash retention with your extensions but also keeping the bacteria away, just cleaning them every day really does help. You don't want to touch your lashes with your fingers mm -hmm. just because too you have a lot of bacteria in your fingers. Uh. And also you don't want to pull them out because that will damage your natural lashes and affect your lash retention. Great tip, Stagey, thank you. If you have questions for our beauty experts, send that to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com and make sure you follow the beauty on their Instagram page at Pro. To book an appointment, you can email us at info at zolashpro.com. We'll be right back. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. X-rays are a valuable tool to diagnose dental disease, but are they safe for children? Dr. Dave from the Kidshine Pediatric Dental Group is here to clarify. Hi, Dr. Dave. Always good to see you. X-rays seem like they'd be dangerous for children. Are they safe? Yeah, that's a common question we get. They are safe. But before we dive into that, let's talk first about why do we even take X-rays? The purpose of the x-ray is to see things that the dentist can't see during his clinical exam. Mm -hmm. So usually they'll go in and they'll check your teeth and see if all the teeth surfaces are good, but they can't see what's in between a tooth or what's underneath a filling or what's going on with the bone and the apex of the tooth or the root of the tooth. Right. So it's to aid the full diagnosis of the tooth. And talking about children specifically, their enamel is about one-fourth the size of the permanent enamel. Oh. So if you take a look at this diagram, you can see this adult enamel mm -hmm. is about twice as thick to about one-fourth as thick as the baby tooth. So the thicker your enamel is, the more protection you have. Baby teeth are like paper-thin enamel, so oh. their cavities can grow at about one millimeter per six months. Mm. and a baby's tooth is only about a millimeter, maybe a millimeter and a half. So diet must play an important role in cavities. That's interesting you bring that up because Hawaii has the highest rate of cavities in the entire nation. Seven out of 10 kids have active cavities and one is because of the thinness of enamel, but two more importantly is in Hawaii, we don't have fluoridated water mm -hmm. and we have Ohana's taking care of our kids, mama and papa, helping spoiling. babysit, spoiling, <laughs> right. and always giving the chocolates. The third thing is we have low socioeconomic pockets where they don't have access to care. Oh. So how does radiation affect the safety of the x-rays? Yeah, so in the past, when you went to the dentist, yes. we used to take film x-rays. And even when I was in dental school, we would take x-rays and we would dip it in the film but those x-rays required so much energy or, mm. or x-ray. Now with the advent of digital, like your iPhone, you don't need a bright light to take a picture. It's very sensitive. It's 70% less exposure to the digital film plate. Oh wow, that's a huge difference. Offices that have digital x-rays, you can know that it's safe because of the x-ray exposure. In fact, you get more x-ray exposure from the sun than you do from a digital oh, x-ray. Oh, that's interesting. Going back to safety, we're taught this acronym ALAR, 
as low as reasonably achievable. What we're trying to achieve is the benefits outweigh the risks. We're essentially only taking x-rays when necessary. Well, yeah. that makes total sense. Thank you, Dr. Dave. So guys, digital x-rays are much safer. For more information, please head to kidshinehawaii.com, Oahu's most referred pediatric dentist. We are digital and we follow ALR, so please come visit us. We'll be right back. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. We are Kidshine Dental Group, serving Hawaii's Kiki for over 40 years and voted best pediatric dentist since 2016. We are committed to creating a positive experience by making your child's dental visit comfortable, fun, and interactive. Free orthodontic consultations for all ages are available at our Kapolei and Pearl City locations. Go to kidshinehawaii.com and reserve your appointment today. Welcome back. You've heard the saying, you are what you eat. Eating vegetables and drinking fruit juices are the fastest way to get healthy. Here's a recipe that we previously aired that I think you'll like. So I thought it would be really fun to make a spiced grape juice mocktail. Take two cups of a grape juice, grate three tablespoons of fresh ginger, add three fourths teaspoon of cinnamon, and 3 fourths teaspoon of cardamom. We're just gonna let this simmer until all the ingredients are nicely combined. It smells so good. Okay, once you've strained the mixture into your glasses, I am gonna add some black grapes. Now you can cut them in half, pieces. I'm just gonna add the full size. I think it's really fun to see them floating in your drink. Then I am gonna to top it off with some sparkling seltzer. Because you know, you can never have too many bubbles. <sighs> I am gonna to have to take a sip of this. A spicy grape juice mocktail. It's like an adult version of grape juice. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. When buying a home in a tropical climate, there are some factors to consider. Today, our real estate expert, Denise Miyahira, is here with some insight. Hi, Denise. Hi, Val. So yes, there are some environmental factors that you should be aware of if you're going to be buying property in Hawaii. We have now seen the sea levels rise, and we have seen beaches that were there become non-existent, and they are eroding which also puts the homes that are on those beach fronts in a very precarious position. Right. Some of them are starting to fall into the ocean. There are tools out there and there are websites that can help you predict where they think the shoreline is going to be in the next 10, 15 years. Huh. We have uh, flood areas and it's not always necessarily just next to the ocean. Could be near a river, a canal, or even in the middle of the mountain valley area. Right. Places that you wouldn't think of that would be flood zones. One aspect that we don't really like and we don't like to talk about, but there are bugs everywhere. When yes. you live in a tropical climate, you can't help it. One of the insects that can do a lot of damage though is termites. Yes. Termites love humidity. Mm -hmm. They love moisture. Mm -hmm. And speaking of humidity, 
we also have mold and mildew. And one of the last things I wanted to talk about is lava and bog. We don't have an issue with a lava zone on Oahu, but on the Big Island, it is a concern. You also have to remember to take these factors into consideration when you're looking at buying a home. Thanks, Denise. For more pro tips, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. For anything real estate related, contact Denise directly. Thanks, Val, and together we'll find the keys to your happy home. We'll be right back. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. It takes a lot of little things to make a successful classroom. But it only takes one small donation to make a difference. A donation to our island's public schools is a giant step towards building a future for our keiki. Learn how you can make a difference at communityhelpingschools.org. Hi friends! Wearing sunscreen is one of the most important ways to protecting your skin's appearance and health at any age. The Sunscreen Genie from Aesthetics Hawaii teaches us how to select the right sunscreen. Thank you, Val, and for allowing the Sunscreen Genie to be a part of your show. Yeah, sir, I'm excited to have him. As a kid growing up, I used baby oil, uh, reflectors. Yeah. I didn't know sunscreen existed. So now, as I know better and I know how damaging it is, I dress up like this and I will go to local schools, golf clubs, the Outrigger Canoe Club, uh, hotels, anywhere where people are sunbathing and not using the proper sunscreen, uh, it's a full-time job. Take a look at this photo that dermatologists have all seen. This is a truck driver who drove for over 20 years without sunscreen. Look at the side that was facing the sun, how aged he looks. Using the right sunscreen can help prevent skin cancer, sunspots, and wrinkles. Let's start with our first myth, that the sunscreen with the highest SPF is the better one for you. I used to believe that, uh -huh. and that's how I used to buy most of my sunscreens. Right. If it contains zinc or titanium, mm -hmm you are 100% covered. Good you can have know. an SPF of zero, and if it has zinc or titanium, you are 100% covered. Do I need to wear sunscreen even if I'm not going to the beach or out in the sun? Whether you're walking back from your car, mm -hmm. uh, going shopping out in the mall, you do have some casual sun exposure. Finding the right sunscreen and applying every day should be a part of your daily routine. What about the ones that are waterproof or sweatproof? Do I still need to reapply? So think of it like makeup. Okay. If it comes off, it's off. It's off. And you reapply. reapply. Does makeup with SPF work? Yes. Oh. If okay. it contains zinc or titanium. Those are the magic words, sunscreen genie. That's it. If we can distill it down to two things, zinc or titanium, and the SPF number doesn't matter. So if your makeup has a high SPF and no zinc or titanium, mm -mm. no good. No good, no good, got it. Meanwhile, if that makeup has zinc or titanium with an SPF of zero, it's good. Good. So let's talk about why Hawaii banned chemical sunscreens. The chemical sunscreens have been linked to environmental damage, specifically coral damage mm. and coral bleaching. As a consumer, just look at the ingredient. If it has something you can't pronounce, mm -hmm. then it's a chemical and right. it's no good for our reef and no good for us. Let's test you. Okay. The SPF, does it matter? No. That's right. Is the higher the number, the better? No. So how do you tell? By the two active ingredients, zinc and titanium. That's right. So one or the other are both equally good. So we look forward to seeing you at our office. And if you tell our front desk that you follow Fashion Sense by Valerie and Aesthetics Hawaii, Please bring an old sunscreen, preferably a chemical one that we can destroy, and we'll swap it out for an elegant titanium or zinc-based sunscreen like these. And you might actually be able to spot the sunscreen genie. <laughs> we look forward to meeting you. Aloha. We'll be right back. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. Aloha, we are Aesthetics Hawaii. Voted number one best aesthetic spa in Hawaii. We are a one-stop shop to meet all your needs. We want to invite you to our Ohana for a free consultation. We look forward to meeting you. Aloha.
friends, mobility is such an important part of a healthy body. It allows us to relieve stress and tension, allows us to release any tight muscles moving freely through life, and it also serves as a wonderful, fun way to warm up before you work out. Today, I have my absolute favorite movement that we're gonna go through together. All you're gonna need is some space. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and find our all fours position, planting the palms, shooting the shoulders forward. Tuck through your toes, lift your hips for that downward dog, press heavy through the thumb side, tailbone lifts. My front leg right here is going to bend at the knee, lift, opening up through the hips. From here, we're gonna go ahead and lift the front hand as that back leg comes down, pivoting over the back hand right here. We're gonna continue on by lifting my front hand, turning over, over, over. This front leg is going to lift up, bend it, open that opposite hip. You're gonna go ahead and let this foot find the floor while lifting that hand here. Continuing on, you're gonna lift the back hand and start to pivot over, over, over. Now you're at that starting point, open through that hip. Back leg is going to, that's the back leg now, find the floor, so is the back hand. Holding here, lift the front hand. Continue to pivot, pivot, pivot. Lifting through that leg, open the hip, and reach, chest up to the ceiling, core engage. Back hand's gonna come to the front, Pivot over, pivot over. You're back at the starting point. This is a sure way for you to move freely through your body, opening up in all the right places. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? And remember, let's always be kind to our bodies. Fashion Sense Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. traveling, many packing lists tend to sacrifice fashion in the name of efficiency and practicality. But my friends, we can have it all. Take a look at some of the Fashion Sense gals in their travel outfits. Adrian's outfit of thin layers is ready for warm or cool climate. The longer shirt under a cropped one is convenient if having to remove the top layer to adjust to the weather. Accessories like a beret for extra warmth, the noise reduction headphones to enjoy the music playlist, and a crossbody bag to keep your personal items at reach are all part of a smart and stylish outfit. To travel smart and stylish, classic pieces should make their way into your bag. Wearing sweatshirts does not mean you need to look like you're on your way to the gym, especially if it's this cute. Burgundy yoga pants provide ultra comfort on the plane white boots that can be worn with casual and dress-up outfits, a fedora hat that keeps unkempt hair under control, and a final layer of a trench coat in hot pink with pink sunglasses are all part of a smart and stylish look. Instead of picking a hodgepodge of colors that might not match each other, pick a neutral color and a monochrome theme. From head to toe, hat to luggage, Takaya's weekend getaway outfit is themed around neutral brown shades. Her sweatsuit looks ultra stylish with an oversized blazer. Crossbody bag, carry on, and slip on sandals takes her swiftly through the gates.
Whenever you travel on an airplane or sit through a long car, bus, or train ride, it's easy to end up looking tired and messy. Opt for wrinkle-free fabrics for comfort and always have fun with fashion. And that's our show for today. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always great sharing with you. And a very special thank you to DSUI Hero Electric, known for their modern and progressive lighting solutions. To view all of our episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook or head to our website to send us your favorite recipes or questions. We'd love to share them on the show. Let's stay connected. Until next time, be fabulous, be beautiful, be the best version of you. We'll see you again. Is that a lot of talk? Um, I might be able to cut you down. <laughs> I made you laugh. It's tonight. so, I can't look at you with a straight face. Wait, um, she's got stuff in her teeth. Oh my god! I mean, you can't tell. But yeah, you can. I can tell. And I, if like, you can I, tell. I, I can't take this. Let me see it. Ew! Uh. <laughs> yes, I would have seen that. Okay. Wait, start turning. Ah! Ah! And you're off to Paris. Okay. And you're off to catch your flight. Yes. And you're off to the runway. Fashion Sense Traveling Crew. Add an add on. Action. Salute, my people! We'll see you next time. Fashion Sense. Catch it on Sundays. The musician will be playing. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what, but I got it. Fashion Sense is presented by D Sui Hero Electric Gang. Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16.